Hey guys, Macy here from MC Wild Nature. Welcome to another Wild Wednesday. And today we are going to be talking about something a little bit different from our normal content. We are going to be talking about why my milkweed plant is covered in mesh bags. So for those of you who don't know, the milkweed plant is actually the host plant to the monarch butterfly. And the monarch butterfly is an endangered butterfly. So we do what we can to protect them. So being the host plant, this is where monarch butterflies lay their eggs and where their caterpillars feed the most. They often make their cocoons on these plants as well. It is especially important to plant the host plants of different butterflies because this is often the only type of plant that the caterpillar will eat. And on average, the monarch butterfly caterpillar actually eats around 175 to 200 leaves before turning into a chrysalis. So as you can see, I have six different mesh bags on my plant right now and each of the bags actually has between one and four monarch caterpillars in it. I use these little mesh bags that actually have the little drawstring on the bottom because it protects the caterpillars. Because these butterflies are endangered, it is important to protect them, and we must protect them in all stages, not just the butterfly stage. So these butterflies are super vulnerable in both their egg and their caterpillar stage, and are often fall prey to lizards, and wasps. These mesh bags protect them from their predators while also giving them enough breathability and some breeze in there and enough food for them. So if you are going to use this method to protect your caterpillars, please make sure you check on your caterpillars because they will completely strip a branch of the milkweed and you have to make sure to move the bags around when the leaves are stripped. I have one bag that actually has four caterpillars in it right now and I have had to move it every day for like the past three days. So make sure you're keeping up with them. With this method, you also have to make sure that once you see a cocoon, you are checking the cocoon daily to make sure that once the butterfly hatches, you can set it free pretty much immediately. Guys, it is so important to protect our pollinators, so please do what you can to protect our bees, wasps, our butterflies, our moths. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. Make sure to hit that big thumbs up as well as to subscribe and hit the bell notification as well so you'll know when I post another video and you can follow along. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye!